All right, so free response problem two, we got this crazy graph, two graphs actually with regions R, S, and T. And we're told that function F is defined by this equation equal to three times the quantity of one plus X to the 0.5 power times the cosine of pi X over six for values of X from zero to three. Function g is continuous and decreasing for values of x from 0 to 3 and g of 3 is 0. The figure above on the left shows the graphs of f and g and the regions r and s. r is a region bounded by g of x and the x and y axes. Region r has an area of 3.2. Let's, let's actually go right there, right here. Region R has an area of 3.24125. S is bounded by the y axis and the graphs of F and G. On the right here, we have graph of G of X squared and the region T bounded by the X and Y axes. And this has an area of 5.32021. So right away, you can tell this is going to deal a lot with um, volumes revolution. So hopefully you got that down, um, an area between curves. So first, you find the area of region S. You got to find this area. Now, this will be equal to the integral of f of x from 0 to 3 minus the integral of g of x from 0 to 3. So let's set that up here. 0 to 3 of f of x minus g of x. And we're not given uh, an equation for um, g of x, but we're given that the area is going to be 3.24125. Okay, so that saves us some, um, that saves us the, the, the worry about integrating that function, but make sure you um, don't integrate 3.24125. So in other words, set this integral equal to the integral of 0 to 3 of f of x dx. That by itself is going to be the integral. And from that, you're going to minus the 3.24125. And here you can plug that into your calculator. And I'll walk you through it in case you want to see it. Um, but you don't have to because then maybe your calculator is a little bit different. But um, you can all pick one that's very user friendly because you don't want to spend time having to do a tedious calculation and make sure you practice a lot with it because um minutes matter on this thing in this exam so to the point five hopefully i don't screw up and is the cosine Okay, so it looks right. Minus 3.24. All right, yeah, 4.1919 about. No, no, 4.91. 4 4.91958 is the right part. B, find the volume of the solid generated when region S is revolved about 
the horizontal line y equals negative three. Okay, so remember the volume of revolutions formula. The volume is pi. And if you have a, a cylinder with like a, a small radius, be pi times the large, large R of X minus small R of X. That looks familiar, hopefully it does. That whole thing on um, integrating that from you know A to B, D, B, A to B, D, X. The key though is to figure out exactly um, which is a large one and which is a small one and making sure that the radius is the right length. Okay, so um, <clears throat> since, I mean, this is annoying because I wanna, well, I can probably fit it down here. So we're, we're, we're ugh, sorry, for my voice is getting a little raspy. So we're revolving it around the line, um, y equals negative three. So we're gonna go about this line here. Now, what this does is that this makes each radius three longer, three more. So, because we have this additional length. Remember, the radius is the distance from the axis of revolution. So, it's going to be three plus f of x for, for um, this, for the outside one. The large r of x will be equal to three plus f of x. And the small one will be three plus this small this this one, which is g of x. The small r of x will be three plus g of x. So we're just going to have again large r of x minus small r minus small r of x. So let's set that up. Almost forgotten, these are squared. Just remember it's pi r squared for the for a cylinder. So then the volume will be looking like this. Three plus f of x squared minus three plus g of x squared dx which in the pencil in case I make a mistake so multiplying this out you know using your distribution properties we'll get 9 plus 6 f of x plus f of x squared Minus nine plus six g of x plus g of x squared. And there'll be a dx on the edge, on the edge of course, which is right now space. Okay, so these nines will cancel. That's really the only thing that cancels. And we're gonna get that. This will be pi. Times the integral from zero to three six f of x plus f of x squared minus six g of x minus g of x squared. All this dx integrated. Now we're given, remember, we're given the values of the integrals of g of x as well as g of x squared from 0 to 3. Because see, we're given that the integral from 0 to 3 of g of x squared is 5.3021. And also for um, g of x, 
what are we were given the three point two we're given that area three point two four one two five so we can replace those instead of um having to calculate those and especially we're not even given they're not given the equation so we couldn't do it either way so let's write this now like this so pi times integral now just six f of x plus f of x squared dx minus let's distribute that six and the pi six pi that g of x remember it is that three point two four one two five and minus the pi times that 5.32021. Now this we just do in our calculator. Uh, again, I'll, I read, did it earlier. So just trust me so I can just, we can save some time, but this will compute to about 234.0737. So this then minus that, Minus that, minus pi times 5.3021, giving us about 156.237 is what I got. Well, I actually like these problems. As long as you don't make a small mistake, and I wish that you weren't so crunched for time, but they're pretty, they're pretty fun, I think. All right, and the last one, part C, region S is the base of a solid. For this solid, each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is the rectangle whose height is seven times the length of its base in region S. Right, but do not evaluate an integral expression for the volume of this solid. Region S is the base of a solid. So going back to this. I might as well just draw it. We'll try my best. It's terrible. Wait, they intersect. No, they don't. Think so. Try that again. This is horrible. I need to, let me let me try to look at it. Uh, different sheets so I can draw it better, or they don't like this drawing. My apologies. Let's see, I got this going. So this one will be. Oh, well, well, well. I'll do. I think they intersect there. Let's just leave it like, yeah, they, they, um, yeah, they intersect there. At three. On top we have S, down here we have G. And this, this is region S, remember? Okay, so if region S is the base of a solid and each cross section perpendicular to the X axis is a rectangle, whose, is a rectangle, then it means like this rectangle has a base 
Like this will be the base of the rectangle. The top is F and the bottom is G. So this length will be F minus, or this width will be F minus G. Now the, um, the, the width, probably should just read the rectangle as, you just draw it like this. The other side, the height, so let's call this the height. The height is seven times the length of this base. So this will be seven times F minus G. And then the area, as we know of a rectangle is length times width or height times width. So let's, let's call this, let's say this is the height. And this is the width. So height times width. In other words, it will be equal to seven times f of x minus g of x times f of x minus g of x. And we're basically just integrating this from zero to three. So our integral is gonna look like this. Zero to three of seven times f of x minus g of x times f of x minus g of x. I don't want to draw it. I don't feel like you have to draw it, but I want to see if I can draw this. this. So this will be, this is, this is y and this is x. And this is, um, that'll be f of x. And so then, um, how this would look like is going to be like seven times the length, right? That's not be pretty rough. How would that even work? Not very good, but um. Anyways, um, that was terrible, actually. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, but for this, for this again, you don't have to worry about doing the calculation. Just make sure you visualize it and understand the the principle and the concept. Um, I personally like these ones. Some some of my students don't like them because the geometry doesn't click for them. But just practice. There's usually at least one of these on the exam in the free response section. Okay, so I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions or maybe any tips or something maybe I didn't explain clearly. I'm not the best yet. Um, and, and any feedback, leave comments and a like if you did find it helpful and subscribe, of course, if you know, if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video.